my life, the divine circumstances I have been through in my life. I'm not saying God punished me by putting me through these things, but God will use, he says, all things work together for the good. That's right. Right? Yeah, right. Who love God and are called according, according to, to his purpose. purpose. Yeah. What divine circumstances in your life has God used to break you of pride? Mm. <laughs> Break you of grief. Wow. Break you of being power hungry. Wow. Break you of ego. Mm. What is oh. ego? Edging God out. Mm -hmm. oh. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When pride yeah. steps on the platform, the Holy uh, Ghost steps off. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you got a lot of singers and they think they're bigger than the church. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Preachers that are bigger than the church. Wow. People who go to school, they say, I'm bigger than the church. I've outgrown the church. Wow. I've outgrown my pastor. Yeah. Oh, get ready. Oh, those divine circumstances. No. Oh. Amen. Because okay. God has it a way of too. preparing the people that he has called. Can I hear an amen? Wow. Wow. And some of you have been through divine circumstances already, but some of you have yet to face divine circumstances. Yes. Come on. And when they come, it's to break you of wrong motives. That's right. Because before God blesses you financially, he has to humble you. That's why Joseph went to the pit first. He got the coat. Ooh, look at me. Everyone's going to bow down. The sun, the moon, the stars. And then I had another dream. Right? And, and he had all these dreams. He was a dreamer, but God is trying to work with a dreamer. That's right. Mom, so he sent some divine circumstances, some brothers who were jealous. Oh, my God. And they threw him in a pit. Right? But if it wasn't for the one brother who's a type of Christ who did it, they wanted to kill him. Yeah. Who was a type of Christ that was it hold up? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Preserve his life because God, God has a plan. Mm -hmm. We would not be here today. Come on, give God a good praise. Yeah. 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 Media and arts. The purpose of media, whoever masters media masters the mind. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pornography, <coughs> um, uh, same sex marriage, wow. all the abortion, all these things are not the things that are the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is the media and yeah. it's the minds. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yeah. every nation, the devil knows how to take the media and bias it towards the sinful propensities of that nation. Mm -hmm. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. With a 24 hour news cycle, mm -hmm. minds have been more, I grew up in an age where the TV shut off at 12 o'clock, who remembers yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody, at 12 o'clock, right, <laughs> on the bunny ears, and they would play, some of you don't even know what I'm talking about, and they would play the national anthem. Yeah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> when it was over. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snow on the TV. Yeah. 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 That's the day we live Black in now. Black and white. Yeah. 24 hour news cycle. Man, I wish you could go back to those days when the TV <laughs> shut off. <laughs> yeah. 24 hour news cycle. My God. Because yeah. there's a starvation for information. Oh, right. Wow. And whoever controls the information <laughs> controls wow. the noodle. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. So what would happen if the people that got arose to control media and art? Mom. Does art imitate life or does <coughs> life imitate art? Wow. I get the feeling that life imitates art. Yeah. Have you seen Back to the Future? Mm -hmm. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Life imitates art. Mm -hmm. Media and all that. And then I, I had those separate, but I switched it up. Now it's science and tech. Mm -hmm. What if out of our big if someone rose up to cure cancer? Mm -hmm. What if someone rose up to begin to control you know the tech industry and create ideas that would not, you know, destroy people's life, but improve people's lives? Mm -hmm. Do you understand the importance of what we're doing? Yeah. But here's the key. None of it can happen without religion and business. Mm -hmm. That's wow. true. Mm -hmm. All these mountains have a direction. And God's intent was that they all flow into the church. And from the church 
actually from the Lao. Wow. It's world. That's good. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. good. Is Victor Art Sandy mm -hmm. involved in all these areas when we think about it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we? Yes. Are we? Wow. I think we are. I think there's a seed. Yes. But it's not fully developed. Yes, yes. We're developing. I think the church part is developed. Yes. The family's being developed. Yes. But the business it needs to be developed. Yeah. Come on. Education, I don't know if we're there yet. Come on. Government, we're starting to plant the seeds. Media and tech, we have seeds planted. Science and tech, I don't know if we're there yet, but we're, we're moving in that direction. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Somebody could give a good, got a good hand for that. Man. So how do we become powerful workers in the kingdom? And I want to review the message from Wednesday. So if you weren't here Wednesday, I'm going to give you a review. Just six very fast things. We don't have much time. Six very fast things that if you want to be a kingdom builder, you need the right mentality. Mm -hmm. The mentality of a kingdom builder. The mentality of a kingdom builder. Number one, we're called to work a certain way. So number one, we work to meet human needs. We work to meet human needs. Amen? Amen? But let me also say, we have to be careful about the work we do. What, yes. what is it lifting people? Mm. You know? Amen. There's a lot of needs, but not every need is edifying to God. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? And when you really take a look at what we do in the business we, we build, how is it meeting a particular human need? How is it meeting human need? If you're a painter, how does it meet that human need? Right? I think it needs a lot. It needs, it needs, it needs a lot. If you're a plumber, if you're managing a large facility, if you're in sales, how are you meeting a human need? How are, how are you making a positive impact on people? That's why like on Wednesday when I talked about Sweden, which is one of the richest nations in the world, they were once one of the poorest nations in the world. Wow. Until two preachers rose up. Wow. Martin Luther, John Calvin. If you study the history of Sweden, you, how many of you the church history? Who took, did they teach you about Zwingli? Who? Zwingli. No, I don't remember. He him. was a reformer. Sorry. He was a Christian reformer. Yes. At, one, at Geneva and Switzerland at one time was a fundamental Christian society. <laughs> the way you see ISIS going out trying to make fun. At one time, it was fundamentally Christian. They did not cuss. There were no bars. The Bible was taught at every home, every school. It was totally fundamental. But they were economically oppressed. And you know why? Because the business leaders didn't have integrity. Wow. Oh, and the yeah. two preachers that rose up, Martin Luther and John Calvin, begin to teach the bank owners how to do business with integrity. That's where they developed the 4% interest rate. Mm -hmm. Yay. And the 4% interest rate is one of the fairest interest rates. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Yep. It's one of the most fair interest rates <laughs> in the economy because it allows the bank to make money and it allows the borrower to make money. Amen. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. That's why credit cards are horrible. Mm -hmm. At 25%, yeah. the only one making money are the people selling the goods and the banks giving you the money to buy? Wow. Cut off all your credit cards. Amen. Amen. But when they started to preach the, to the banks and they started to change that mentality, yeah. the economy began to boost. Are you understand what I'm saying? That's good. So uh, our work is to help people. How are we helping people with the work that we do? And that's something you can evaluate on your own. We want to serve people, we want to care for people. We want to be an army of love. Amen? Mm -hmm. Secondly, we view our work as ministry. Kingdom mentality. How do we have the mentality of a kingdom? We, we look at our work as ministry. Whatever we do, we do for the purpose to serve God's people. Yeah. In the Greek, ministry and service are the same word. Wow. The Greek word is diakonia, meaning to serve. So think about your business in that way. Diakonia. To serve. When we serve, we are actually performing ministry as unto the Lord. Yeah. That's good. When we work, 
We're doing work as unto the Lord. The Bible says, do everything with all of your heart <coughs> and to do it as unto the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Are you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I, I believe works holy. Mm -hmm. When God created Adam, he gave him two things to do. He gave him a job and a helpmate. That's right. Powerful. Wow. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He gave him a job. Come on, somebody. He created him, gave him a job. Job gave him purpose. That's right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But then he saw it was so big, he couldn't do it alone, so he gave him a helper. That's right. Come on, somebody. Come on, yeah. singles. Yeah. Yeah, there's hope for you, amen. Yeah. <laughs> but it's holy to the Lord. The work is holy to the Lord. What's the third thing? We view our work as worship. Yes. Oh, that's good. Our life is a fragrance to the Lord. Yeah. Our work <laughs> is a fragrance to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I work in the fragrance of love. I had some guys do my floor recently, some guys from my church. And I hired them and I paid them to come in. But I, they didn't want to do for pay. They wanted to do for free. I, I gave it to them. But I watched them work. And I did it as a case study. Mm -hmm. As we're building this ministry, I said, I'm going to have the guys come work on my personal home. I want to see how they work. Well, the first thing I saw of them is that they were more than willing to come. They were excited to come. They said, no, I'm Give us the time. The flooring to pick your flooring. You know, hooked us up, paid for the flooring. Got it shipped out. They went and picked it up. We went the extra mile, came in to install the flooring, and I just got them coffee, got them some food. They didn't even expect food. I got them food, and I just watched them work. The, they, they put it in in like three hours. Pretty quick. I watched them, how they leveled the floor. The floor wasn't even. They didn't have to do it right. Mm hmm but they said, this floor's not even, Pastor. We gotta fix the floor. Mm -hmm. wow. They fixed the floor, they sat there. They blew out all my TV and everything. We got that. <laughs> 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 powerful, the grinder was powerful. Then they started to install the floor, the way they cut the floor, the way they placed the wood. They didn't just put it in line, they wanted to make the design. Mm -hmm. The way they cut the baseboard, they pulled all the baseboard out. They didn't break one piece of baseboard. Wow. They laid it out there, they repainted it all. <laughs> when they brought it back in, they did a beautiful job of laying it. I saw a spirit of worship in their work. Come on, somebody. And they accomplished two things. Number one, they pleased God. Yeah. But secondly, they pleased me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I don't got to please nobody. I'm just working at the Lord. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. Hey. Uh, anybody in real estate will tell you if they have the right experience, they're not going to send you business. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on. So yes, you have to please me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you want my network and you want my connections and you want the people yes. that I know and you want to be yes. friends with my friends, you better make yeah. me yeah. yeah. Somebody, right. you're powerful, man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But how we do things, yeah. how we work. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Now there's a saying. In business, you can go for the short money or the long money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on you know what the short money is? Yeah. Do business, take the money, and run. run. Yeah. And burn the relationships. Wow. Wow. But you know what the long money is? Mm -hmm. It's not money, it's partnerships. Yes. 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 It's building relationships yes. with yes. people. Yes. Building yes. relationships yes. with the people. Isn't that what Jesus called us to do? Yes. 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 Yeah. To go and make disciples of all nations. Yes. To share the love of Jesus wherever we go. So how many are getting something so far? Yeah. Yeah. Passion about this. Num number four, this gives us the fourth platform. Is when we work as worship, number four, we use our work as a platform to exalt Jesus. Mm, yes. Our work is our preaching platform. Yes. I can hear it already. Hey man, why are you different? Why is it that when I work with you or I do business with you, I feel different? Yep. Yeah. Yes, why is it that you're always happy? Why is it that I feel like you're not trying to burn me? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Why do I feel like you're trying to help me? Why, why do I feel that? Oh, man, I don't know. Just, you know. No, but there's something different about you. Yeah. Amen. Are you a Christian? Come on out. You know, matter of fact, I am. <laughs> And Jesus changed my life, and I go to Victor and San Diego, and you should come too. Mary. <laughs> See, we use our platform to exalt Jesus. Number number five, we earn money. This is the mentality of the kingdom builder. We earn money to fund God's work. Right. Yes. How are we gonna do? How are we gonna reach the world? Yeah. How are we gonna reach? We can't do it with our testimony alone. 
We've got to raise funds. Yeah. We, we got to raise funds. And, and those funds have to flow into the mission of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be a part. We have to be tithers in the church. We have to be sacrificial givers in the sense of pledging and getting involved in projects like the Ohio Project. And yes. We raised $10,000 now. That one serves going to cover all of our expenses probably for two trips. Yes. And that's what we're going to need. So we're going to go in style. We're going to get a nice... Oh, come, on, come, on, come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but the we work. raise the money yes. to do the ministry in a spirit of excellence. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Or hear what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. There's so much there when you talk about money and how you sow that money yes. and how God blesses the ministry and how God blesses the giver yes. and how God. I, I, I had three phone calls this morning just about Ohio from pastors in our ministry that not only want to go, but they want to give me money. Wow. Yeah. Why? Because we're the first to sacrifice. Wow. Yeah. We're the first to plan. We're the first to sow. That's why you don't serve as a Wow. But when you sow, how we know the kingdom starts making things happen yes. in the spirit yes. realm. God says, okay, yes. they're serious. Here it comes. Yes. Boom. Yes. Boom. Yes. And it opens up the floodgates of heaven. Yes. And here, amen. 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 Money's important. Generous people generate great things. Yeah, yeah, wow. And the vision, I'll tell you, you, you mm -hmm. guys run businesses. Mm -hmm. You run businesses. <clears throat> Sacrifice takes us into the future. Come on, somebody. Sacrifice moves us into another level of productivity. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. You ask them to do overtime, they don't do it. Job doesn't get done. You ask them to do overtime, they do it, and it Leave that powerful yes. testimony there. Yes. So we can move on to the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. Someone say sacrifice. 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 And sacrifice is what takes us into the future. Those funds, generous people, generous great, generate great things, and the vision can only move at the speed of our generosity. Wow. The vision can only move at the speed. Why are we able to move quicker with this building? I know we're waiting on the city. But because the people did not hesitate to give. Mm -hmm. If we were in a two year campaign trying to raise funds, we would not be doing our part to let God do his part. Yeah. Yeah. We are in a place right now where those plans are no longer in our hands, they're no longer in the architect hands. The architect is paid in full. He's waiting on the city. We're waiting on the city. We got the money in the right. bank. I got people waiting to come. Construction workers waiting to come. Contractors say, when do we begin? I said, it's all up to God. It's all up to the city. We've done our part. Now God can do his part. Yeah. But imagine if we we're busy raising money because people did not understand how money makes things go. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And we only move at the speed of our generosity. Can you hear a good amen? Are you guys catching me? Number six. We work to care for the less fortunate. That's key. Care for the less fortunate. We don't look down on the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. We don't judge the less fortunate. We have a heart for the less fortunate. We say amen. 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 And anyone we partner with, we want them to have the same heart as us. We want them to care for the less fortunate the way we do. Now, if they don't care about the less fortunate, they want to give, that's fine. We'll take it. Because money carries no spirit. Amen. It takes on the spirit of the person holding this. So if a drug dealer wants to give me a million bucks, I'll take it all day long. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's destruction in his hand, but it's life in mine. Amen. It's good. Amen. Amen. But we need to care for the less fortunate. We need to love the less fortunate. We want to envision our business leaders to, to be able to help lift up the less fortunate. To be able to meet their needs. Number seven, we work to transform our culture. We can't trust the government to do the right thing. We can't trust the schools to do the right thing. We can't trust the media to do the right thing. We can't trust science to do the right thing. I mean, maybe there's a cure for cancer, but it hasn't been released. 
That's yes. probably it. One Maybe there's a cure oh, for yeah. AIDS, but it hasn't been released. There you right? go. Maybe there's a cure for arthritis, some of these things that ail us on a daily basis, but it hasn't been released. <clears throat> we cannot trust the government to do the right thing. It's God's people that are called to do the right thing. Amen. Can I hear a good amen? amen. So we got to infect culture. We, we've got to carry this in our spirit. And we have to empower. We have to be empowered. I want you to feel empowered. I want you to carry that spirit of empowerment. And then number eight, this is the best one. That's why I love the song we're saying. <laughs> we work to bring glory to God. Yes, amen. We work to bring glory to God. In the end, he gets all the glory, doesn't he? Yes. He gets the glory for the church. He gets the glory for the businesses that we built, the families that we built, the diseases we cured, the technology ideas, the media we created for the good, the children we raised correctly. Come on, somebody. Amen. How many of you gets the glory? Amen. And when we get there, he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. You did what I asked you. You took the treasure out of the darkness. Yes. You took it from the guttermost to the uttermost. Yes. Yes. You took them all the way to the top of the mountain and you turned them into a powerful influence. Come on now. Come on, somebody. Yes. How do you give God praise? Amen. Amen. So, we were once part of the problem. Yeah. But now we are part of the solution. Right. We're part of the solution. And I want to pray. Father, we thank you for your word today. Yeah, we thank you for the strategy you're giving us, God, in building yes. our business leaders' ministry. We know you've called us to propagate your kingdom wherever we go. Give us the spirit of a kingdom builder. Give us a kingdom mentality. Yes. But we have the vision. We know what we're called to do. But now we want to get into the nuts and bolts, God. We want to be able to not only affect lives, we want to affect communities. Yes. We want to affect cities. Yes, we want to affect continents. Yes. It's, yes. Yes. it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of dedication, but it's possible. Yes. Yes. We've seen it happen in the past. In years gone by, we've seen it, God. We believe that we're going to be the leaders of an end time revival. Yes. Yes. An end time revival, wherever we go, yes. God, that revival is going to flow into the church. Yes. It's not just going to be a spirit of enthusiasm, but there's going to be substance with it. Yes. Resources with it. Yes. God, you're going to bring the people from the north, the south, the yes. east, and the west. Yes. But before you do it in them, Lord, do it in us first. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.